Hi, my name is John O'Toole of BMC Customer Support. And this is the second in a set of videos which demonstrate how to install and configure Yellowfin for live reporting in a BMC Server Automation 8.8 environment. The first video focused on the installation of Yellowfin and the creation of the Yellowfin database in a Windows SQL Server environment. This video will focus on the post-install configuration phase this is where we will configure Yellowfin to communicate with BSA. Future videos will cover the same topics for Linux and Oracle environments. The steps we will be following in this video are taken directly from the Installing and Configuring Yellowfin section of the BSA 8.8 online documentation. Please review this documentation carefully before and during the install as it contains important information about prerequisites and is frequently being updated with additional notes to help avoid issues. In the first video, we completed steps one and two of the online documentation. This video will pick up with step three and run through to step eight. Step four is an optional step and covers enabling HTTPS in Yellowfin. We'll be skipping this step in this video and covering it in a separate video. We begin the post install configuration process by extracting the live reporting post installer.zip file to a directory of our choosing on the Yellowfin server. Once, in, once extraction completes, we open the live reporting config.properties file for editing. In this file, we will be providing two sets of information. The first set is for the BSA database, and the second set is for the Yellowfin server itself. So we'll start with the BSA database information. We have the database user, the host name of the database server, and the port which SQL Server listens on. Then we have the database type. Watch out for typos there. The BSA database. Seeing as we have a SQL Server environment, the last two parameters are not required as they are Oracle specific. Next, we will provide information about the Yellowfin server. So we start with the host name and then the port number that we specified during the install, then the protocol. In this video, we'll be sticking to HTTP, but in future videos, we'll show how to, how to enable HTTPS. Finally, we provide the path where Yellowfin is installed. It's important to note here, as shown in the examples, that even on Windows, a forward slash must be used. If a backslash is used, it will cause a failure. After double checking all the values, we save the file and close. The next step is to run the postinstaller.bat file. Before we invoke the postinstaller.bat file, it's a good idea to double check that the Yellowfin service is running. If not, make sure it's started. It's usually a good idea in Windows to launch your command prompt as an administrator. And from here, we'll cd to the directory where the postinstaller.bat file exists. And we'll invoke it. Once we call it, we're going to be prompted for a number of database or a number of passwords. The first one is the database passwords for the BSA DB user. The second one is the password for the default out of box Yellowfin administrator, and that password is test by default. The default Yellowfin admin user is going to be replaced by a new Yellowfin admin user called report underscore admin. So in this step, we're providing a new password for this new user. It can be a password of our choosing and we'll be prompted for it twice. Finally, we're asked for the database password of the Yellowfin database user. Now the post install.bat file is off and running. The post installer.bat file can take a few minutes to complete, so I paused the recording while it was running. Here we see that it has completed successfully and it has also generated a log file. If any errors are encountered during this step, contact BMC customer support and include this log file. 
We can verify the post install config has been successful by hitting our URL again. This time we notice we now have the BMC logo. We can provide the credentials for the new admin user which was created. On first login, we'll be asked to change the password. So we provide the, the existing password followed by a new password. And here we can also see it says BSA live reporting. Again, this is okay for now because we haven't fully configured the BSA part yet. The remaining steps in the process are all performed on the BSA side. The first of these is to use the BLAS admin tool to configure BSA with the new URL for Yellowfin. So if we first do a show live all, we can see that the URL is not set. And now we're going to set that URL using the host name of the Yellowfin server and the port which I previously provided. This can be done on one BSA app server for the entire environment. This change will require a restart of our BSA application server to be picked up. The next step is to create an automation principle in BSA for the report admin user. This is the Yellowfin admin user, which BSA will use to communicate. We begin by logging into the BSA console as a member of the RBAC admin role, navigating to RBAC manager and selecting to create a new automation principle. We will provide a name and a principal ID of report underscore admin, which is our user. And then we will provide the password for this user. Note, this is the password you provided when you first logged into the Yellowfin console and were prompted to change the password for this new user. Next, we are going to assign the report writer authorization to the roles which you want to have access to the live reporting dashboard within BSA. For this, we remain in the BSA console, logged in as the RBAC admins role. I'm going to give this authorization to the BL admins role. So I open the role and go to the system tab. And then I go down to R for report writer. Notice this is report singular as opposed to the BDSSA authorizations. I move this over to the selected authorizations save my changes and we're done. Finally, we will log into the BSA console as a member of the BL admins role to test the new live reporting dashboard. We go to the configuration menu item and then down to the new live reporting. Here we see the new dashboard. My environment has no new patching activity, so these reports are blank, but we do see our, that I already see a list of enrolled servers. Thank you for watching this video on the post-install configuration of Yellowfin for live reporting in BSA 8.8.